All right. Our bar and restaurant is going to be called Sports Suite. Group members are Manny, Julianne, Trevor, Pi. This is for our HM379 beverage management class. At Sports Suite, you will walk in feeling like you bought a suite at a professional sports game. This upgraded modern sports lounge allows you to relax while watching your favorite sports team. Our concept of engulfing each guest with comfortable furniture and large TVs is the first step in captivating their attention, making them want to visit no other restaurant other than Sports Suite to watch your favorite game or to sit back and enjoy a nice cold drink. We are located at 100 Fisherman's Wharf in Redondo Beach, California. Our 4,000 square foot building is located on the water and surrounded by other restaurants and shops. Being one of the larger buildings in the area, it allows us to space things out and truly create a feel of being at a sports suite at your favorite game. We chose to go with a straight line bar layout to be at the center of our establishment. This type of bar setup is best for the utilization of space. On the wall directly behind our back bar is where the majority of our TVs will be placed as this will truly bring the attention of our 20 seat straight line bar where guests can sit and watch any game. When guests enter Sports Suite, we want them to enjoy their game as if they're actually at a stadium in the VIP suite. In our lounge section, our modern sofas with leather are perfect for comfort and are spill proof without having to worry about stains being left behind. White is the main color of the sofas to add brightness to a restaurant with not too much natural window lighting. Opposite of the lounge seating are our wood finished high bar tables with high back cushioned leather bar stools. In addition to the seating color and furniture type, we also have other decor placed on the walls and tables throughout the restaurant. Other decor that would include iconic jerseys. This is the bar layout of our location. As guests enter, the first thing you'll see is the straight line bar where they have the option of bar seating. They also have the option of high top bar seating or lounge sofa seating that are located on the side of the venue. Across from the bar is our 100 inch flat TV screen. Our kitchen is located on the right back corner of the bar and our guests can access the restrooms that are located on the top right. Apart from other food and beverage items, sports suites famous dish is the jalapeno mac and cheese. It includes grilled chicken, bacon, raspberry pasta, and a creamy yellow sauce made from beer with three cheeses and is topped off with jalapenos. To accompany this dish, we have a watermelon margarita with 100% watermelon to be paired with blanco tequila, lime juice, and a spritz of sugar with a splash of Grand Marnier. In order to service our guests professionally, we have to be properly equipped. In the bar area, our bartenders will be equipped with a three-compartment beer back cooler along with an ice well and a three-compartment sink. In the kitchen area, we'll have an ice maker, and our cooks will be equipped with a pizza oven, gas fryer, and a 60-inch burner gas stove. Our target market are in the age range of 26 and 41, which are millennials. Based on research, millennials are highly educated and tech-savvy. They spend 5 to 10 hours a day on social media platforms, which advertising on social media will play a big role. Millennials are outgoing, adventurous, and have a balance in their work life, and we want to be that place that gives them that balance. Our target market is also very diverse. Women are also sport fanatics as men. Although we are a sports launch, not all millennials are sports fans. We want our guests to vary from tourists, meet and go customers, locals, or students or workers that are taking a lunch break. We want to be the location that guests feels welcome to gather and socialize. Our customers have more disposable income because due to research, the median income in Redondo Beach is $149,000 and millennials are willing to spend more at restaurants, so we will have higher price items as they are willing to spend it. Our millennial customers are tech savvy, so the way we reach them best is through social media. To gain more customers and keep our loyal ones, we are going to offer fun promotional nights like wearing jerseys, gets drinks half off, and ladies nights nice as our city's population is 50% women as well as trivia nights with merchandise and coupons as prices. At Sports Suite, we employ a staff of five servers, four bartenders, two bussers, two dishwashers, three cooks, and one manager. The top-level management will mainly consist of a general manager. The position carries the highest way of making the most needed decisions of the bar. Of course, other roles are also important, but bartenders will be our main focus and highlight. Due to the target market being millennials, we discovered they need something fun, entertaining, and of great quality service. As a modern upscale sports lounge, our biggest competition will be sports stadiums. The areas around Redondo Beach are home to one of the United States' big sports names franchises like LA Galaxy, Lakers, and Dodgers. Plus, the area's existing sports bars are neither fancy nor modern. At Sports Suite, we seek to cater the mid-range clients, meaning those who love sports and wish to mingle, have a drink at a pricey fee, but inside a modernized sports lounge.
One of the trends that sports suite will incorporate to differentiate itself from competitors is experiential dining. We will create an experience that allows guests to connect with the restaurant concept, brand, and offerings. Other will be technology, which we will leverage through interactive displays such as touchscreens, allowing customers to access a wide variety of sports content, including live streams of sporting events, game highlights, and player statistics. At Sports Suites, we remain in full compliance with local laws and regulations. These include our business license, liquor license, health permits, seller's permit, taxes, and insurance. We pay these fees to the Alcohol Beverage Control, LA County Health Department, the IRS, and State Farm Insurance. From our $700,000 budget, we spent $307,000 on our initial costs, which include rent, improvements, equipment, furniture, dining wear, POS, working capital, advertising, and licenses. With our full capacity at 89 customers, and assuming we won't be at full capacity every day, it would be about 245 customers a day. So with that, we would multiply, we would get our sales multiplying the guests by the menu prices. Cost of goods would be the same but with how much to make them. After planning our recipes, we went to our wholesale stores, Webstaurant and Ralph's and got the prices of each item and broke it down to our individual amounts. Our food cost percentage is 30%, which is an industry standard. And we took the $5.84 it would make and divided it by 30% to get our menu price, 1950. Like our food costs, our menu pricing for the margarita was solved by the finding the prices of our wholesaler, and then by getting this, our liquor cost was 218, and we made our cost percentage 16%, so we would make more of a profit, and dividing the cost, getting 1365.